from Sky Ortigas, one of the online missionaries of Youth Pinoy. So today we are featuring different nominees of the 2020 Catholic Social Media Awards. And as you all know, um, the CSMA is all about recognizing the digital and online Catholic communicators so, who are also missionaries in their own way. So, and they, they do this to also spread the faith in sharing their own experiences of God's goodness in their lives. So for today, we have uh, one of the nominees of the Catholic Social Media Awards for Best Female Catholic Influencer. Let us all welcome Miss Candy Pangilinan. Magandang Hello po. Miss Candy. So, Hi. Miss Candy, can you tell us more about yourself and why did you, I know you're a public person already, but at the same time, why did you decided to start YouTube and bakit? yung stories niyo po, ang love story niyo po ni Quentin, yung ginawa niyo pong main topic ng YouTube channel niya. Actually, it all started with my spiritual spiritual mentor. My mm. spiritual mentor was the one who told me, first kasi, di ba, I wrote a book. Mm. I wrote a book, uh, Mother, Dear, or Special Love. It's about my journey with my son, yung from since pregnancy till uh, siguro age 13. Yung paghahanap ng schools, denial, acceptance, forgiveness, everything. So, after that, sabi ko, tita, ano pong susunod kong gagawin? Sabi ko, sabi niya, people are now asking you kahit saan about Quentin and also asking about themselves. Kasi yung anak ko ganito, yung anak ko ganito. So, sabi niya, why don't you start sabi niya, a YouTube channel? It was my spiritual mentor two years ago, actually three years ago pa nga eh. Hmm. But I was really scared. Honestly, I was really scared. Tapos sabi ko, eh, baka ho mabash lang ho ako, baka sabihin nila, uh, bakit mo nilalabas yung anak mo? Yung... Kung anong ano ang pumasok sa isip ko. Then, you know, Candy, you're not doing it for yourself. You will do this for other people for other mothers who are going through what you're going through and for other people who have lost hope because when they see Quentin, they will know God's miracle and testimony because your son, sabi niya, is actually a miracle and a testimony. Tapos pinaalala niya sa akin lahat yung journey namin. Remember your son couldn't talk? And you prayed every day. At kung saan saan mo simbahan din nila. Kung nasaan ang, ano, ang si Mama Mary before, dumating sa amin, I would bring my son there. Alam mo yon yung pipila kami. Kung, kung, kung sino dumating na relic, pupuntahan namin yung everything. So, sabi, so now that he's, I remember sabi ng spiritual mentor ko, you prayed and you said, Lord, make him talk, make him walk, and make him your testimony. Make him the person that you want him to be. And yeah, my spiritual mentor was the one who told me, this is not for you. This is for other people. It's for other mothers who are going to the same journey as you are. And for people who have lost hope. Who have lost hope. Na parang, oh, wala na akong pag-asa. But when they see Quentin, who is a testimony, then pinaalala nga niya sa akin yung journey mo. You, have you forgotten that Quentin couldn't talk and couldn't walk? And you prayed for it na, Lord, make him, um, heal him, Lord, make him walk, make him talk, and, you know, make him the person that you want him to be. Make him your testimony. And now, bakit ayaw mo? What's wrong? Anong nangyayari? Then I realized, oo nga, no? Sabi niya, and, and that's your line of work, sabi niya sa akin. That's your line of work. Sabi ko, tita, ano ipapakita? Just be candid. Just be yourselves. Kung paano kayong dalawa ni Quentin. Just, yun lang yun. Yung ginagawa niyo everyday, yun lang yun. Just be yourselves. Yun lang yun. Sabi niya, nakakatawa kayong dalawa. You're very candid. Um, you're very trying hard kayong dalawa na trying to please each other and best each other. Pareho, yung ganon. <laughs> trying to teach each other, di ba? Sabi niya, just be yourself. And then I asked my friends and sabi ng mga friends ko, yeah, you have to do this. You should start doing it. So I really started the YouTube channel. It wasn't really for me. Mm -hmm. I wasn't there to teach or preach. Walang ganon na. Wala talaga. Wala lang. I just wanted to follow in obedience. Na nahiya ako na. Oo nga no. Yung ganon lang. I just wanted to send good vibes. 
I just wanted to send good vibes and be as candid as possible. Walang malaking vision na to preach, advocacy, walang malaking ganon. It would just send good vibes and, you know, and eventually, after a while, eh, yun talaga yung lifestyle namin, yun talaga yung buhay namin, eh, di ba? <laughs> so, yun yung nakikita, wala ako magagawa. Um, so, yun. Then, a lot of people started texting, started messaging me, na they get inspired, they're depressed, nawawalan depression nila, ganon. And people from other countries, OFWs, yung mga So, they're COVID patients, mm-hmm. di ba, na nalulungkot sila, sa so, tatawa na lang sila sa amin ni Quentin, yung ganon. Kasi, despite, and it's in spite of his disability, you can see that he's okay. I'm okay. Di ba? Yung parang, no, he's okay. So, parang sabi nga ng, ng spiritual mentor ko, alam mo, Quint, alam mo, Candy, wala kang problema kay Quentin. You know why? Because Quentin, wala, wala lang sa kanya yan. I-enjoyin lang niya yan. Because Quentin will never compete, conform, or compare. Kaya his life is, in, is content, which is true. <laughs> yes. diba? mm-hmm. It's very true. Sabi niya, actually, ikaw ang natututo sa anak mo. <laughs> One of the so, things yeah. that really inspired me while watching your vlogs is yung time na naging altar server siya when you were in Antipolo. And dun yeah. sa vlog mo, sinabi mo na that is his dream of uh, yes. becoming an altar server. How did that dream came about? So, bali, um, Uh, I, I have this friend, tapos yung friend niya, na, um, yung isang priest doon, napanood yata niya yung vlog. So, in-inform niya, tapos sabi niya ganun, Father, baka pwede naman siyang mag-serve dito. Sabi niya, kahit dito na lang tayo sa labas, kung hindi pwede sa loob, kasi yung loob medyo mas formal, eh, hindi pa siya handa. Wala naman siyang formal training. Wala lang siyang ginawa, kundi magtuwi, magsisimba, panoorin yung mga nandoon. ba? Diba? Yun talaga yung gusto niya. So, Um, that was um, GCQ yata yun eh. So, walang tao. Kami lang. Mm-hmm. So, it was my mom. My mom, me, Yaya, uh, Ate Mai, the priest, and my friend. So, yun. It was a very intimate mass. And he was very happy. Pero nakita ko talaga yung kabadong-kabado siya. Yung hindi siya gumagalaw. Yung kahit ano, inaantok siya at naiinitan siya. Kasi ano yan eh. Mainit. Pero hindi siya nagreklamo. Sabi ko nga, wow, ang galing. Ang galing talaga. At hanggang ngayon sa araw na to, I'm so blessed because there's a lot of people, hindi ba a lot, pero may mga pari na nag-text sa akin na we are willing to train Quentin, ganyan, pag hindi na ano ang pandemic, ganun. So yung seminary dito na pinupuntahan namin, kung kami nagko-confess and all, yung ano din niya, nagsabi rin yung rector na we can train Quentin and you can bring him here para merong makalaro yung mga seminarians. Sabi ko, eh, okay yun ha. Okay yun. Kung totoo, hindi naman sila lumalabas. Mas safe nga dun eh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so that's really okay. Sabi ko, ganun. So di ba parang God, parang pinagpapat, pinagduduktong-duktong na lang ni Lord na parang, oh, wala ba kayong lalaki? Oh, huwag kayong mag-alala. Ngayon naman, sobrang daming lalaki. <laughs> Alam mo yun? Yung, ah, okay. Yung ba problema mo? Ayan, oh, seminary. Ang dami, puro lalaki. <laughs> di ba na, yung ba, so, You know, God really makes a way. And, you know, um, sabi ko nga siguro sa mga panahon na hindi ako nagdadasal, may nagdadasal para sa akin at pinagduduktong-duktong na lang ni Lord yung dasal na. Ang galing eh. Ang galing kasi ang daming, daming yung na-inspire na a lot of mothers and at the same time, especially ako, isa ako sa na-inspire kasi I also have a special um, child na brother. He's deaf naman. So, um, alam ko, in a way, yung experience natin, in, in there's so much na ang daming sacrifices din when it comes to family and all that. But eventually, parang blessing talaga sila sa atin, di ba? Yes. Actually, the tips, um, kahit yung first pa lang, meron na talaga siya. Before okay. nga nilagay ko ADHD 101. But then I realized, hindi naman ako doktor. but ba ganun yung mga ilalagay ko, di ba? Baka may mga tumira sa akin. Sabi nila, hindi ka naman doktor, hindi ka naman expert. So, prati ko sinasabi, I am no expert, diba? This is just from my personal experience. So ngayon, it's Candy says. But I, wa- I really wanted to put it like Candy suggests. Kasi this was effective for me. I don't know if it'll help your child 
or kung sino man, di ba? Yung ano kung... So, meron pa rin ako mga ganong tips. Uh, meron pa rin ako mga ganun na comments sa sasabihin kung bakit po ginagawa itong certain bagay na ito. Kasi I'm quite sure all mothers, I mean, lahat tayo, we do things because of a purpose. Lahat tayo. So, even yung ginagawa natin sa anak natin, for example, mahugas ka ng tingkan, not just because pagod tayo, but we have a purpose. Gusto natin siya lang matuto ng independence. Yung, uh, something to that effect. Mm. ba? Diba? So, we shall continue doing that. Kaya nga, ngayon naman, dito sa vlog, biglang nakita ko yung responsibility and accountability. ba? Diba? Yung, ah, laki pala ng responsibility and accountability. Parang, oh my gosh, Lord. Kasi, ang mga nagtitext na sa akin, hindi na mga nanay eh. It's beyond that. I have um I have kids. I have 17 years old, 14 years old texting me, messaging me, uh tita, na inspire po kami. So sabi ko, wow. The magnitude of the responsibility and accountability is the iba. Iba. So practice ko sinasabi kay Quentin, Quentin, you always have to pray. You always have to pray kasi we, 'di ba? Mm. We we don't know ano ano, ano pa ang pwedeng nating ibigay. Especially ang kayong ng ECQ, wala naman kayong masyadong magawa dito na kami sa loob ng bahay. Because uh, I really grew up in a, yung talagang very Catholic family. Mm. My mom kasi serves sa church, MBG, charismatic. So, ganun talaga yung environment na kinalakihan. And I think the community, the community itself, yun ang tumulong. Yun ang tumulong talaga para ma-develop ang bata. Especially a child with autism or ADHD, they need a community that they would feel belong. And nagkatao lang naman malapit yung mga semina- seminaryo dito. So dala lang ako ng dala. And they're very accommodating. I don't know if you you watch yung nag-pit senior naman kami. Mm. Uh, sa San Agustin, na tinanggap lang siya ng mga pare kahit sayaw siya ng sayaw dun sa harap. <laughs> na parang, sabi naman nila, wow, sana lahat ng simbahan ganyan. Yun ang mga uh, comments. Na sabi ko, have you tried it? Have you tried it? I'm quite sure if you try it, they will welcome you. Nagkato lang, walang nagtry. Diba? I'm quite sure. I'm quite sure. So now there's a lot of clamor. Ang dami ng clamor eh. It goes beyond na sa amin. With me and Quentin. Ang, ang laki na. Ang laki na. Um, ngayon, ano, ano talong na nila? Anong mga churches ang pwedeng nagsiserve ang mga children with disabilities? Do you have a list? Mga ganun na yung mga padala sa aking messages. So, uh, ang lawak na. Uh, is, is there a, 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 a per, person or place or uh, organization that trains them to be in church? Because I remember this all started when Quentin, kasi mahal niyang pagsimba. He loves to go to mass. Maybe... Maybe because the truth is, doon siya nasanay. Doon siya nasanay yung nakinalakihan. Other than that, because of the sequencing and the order, the mass is always yun ang sequence. Hindi mo pwede magpalit-palit yun, di ba? Mm. <laughs> hindi, pwedeng, uh, hindi pwedeng communion muna bago tayo mag-homily. May routine. Ganun, di ba? <laughs> o may routine. So the routine is what they want. They like. Because when they're familiar, alam nila kung saan sila pupunta. So I remember before... Uh, I got close to this uh, a bunch of priests naman because I wanted him lang to receive communion. At the end, yung buong skwelahan na, pinag-first communion ko. Pati yung mga 30 years, um, meron 30 years old, 35 years old, the children with disabilities and their parents were crying because it's the first time na magko-communion yung mga anak nila. They never had that chance. Diba? Diba? Mm. So, doon ko naisip, Oh my gosh. Oh nga no. Siguro nga maraming ganito na hindi nakakapag-communion because they never tried. Hindi nila alam kung saan pupunta. It just so happen masigasig ako at gusto ko kasi mag-communion ng anak ko dahil nag nagseselos. Kasi parating ang mass namin 12 o'clock after the mass parating yung sinasabi, ay, because you're finished na eating. <laughs> ang ala niya ang ala niya busog na kami so imagine that I, I saw the parents crying because yung mga anak nila naka wheelchair and ano and first time sila magkocommunion ever in their whole life wow diba so it goes beyond us it's, called, it's beyond us true and 
doon mo ma-realize how you're also being used, no? not only for yourself or for your son, but also for other people, di ba? Na, na parang, ang, akala ko ako lang, di ba? Eh, but uh, masigasig lang talaga si Miss Candy na magtanong. And then we didn't know that there are a lot of programs the church has to offer. And, uh, yes. Oh, oh. So pwede pala, pwede yung ganun. And, th- and you have done, because of that very small channel that you started to grow and there's a lot of people who have been asking you. And then, marami din napapunta sa faith nila sa simbahan, di ba? So, napaka, napakagaling na inspiration po yung ginagawa niyo. And, uh, and we thank you for that, Miss Candy. Thank you for also helping the church especially kasi hindi naman kaya ng mga pari lang, hindi kaya ng mga missionaries lang. But we need like lay missionaries like you guys to also help out in spreading the faith, di ba? So, thank you so much for that. And yeah, and and for siguro for our last question, what is your message to those um, mothers at also sa iba ding mga kabataan na gustong uh, mag YouTube, mag, gustong mag inspire ng iba na medyo na hihiya lang? How, what is your message to them? Uh, know your purpose. Hindi masyadong malalim yung know yung you know your purpose. Eh. <laughs> siguro tama yung sinabi ng spiritual mentor ko. Do not compete. Do not conform. Do not compare. So your life will be content. So if you just just do it and do not compete, do not compare, do not conform, diba? and pray for it. <laughs> Tama. Pray for it talaga kasi um, hindi naman lahat para sa online. But at the same time, um, there are people who are really chosen to also speak out, speak out their truth. And, and uh, maganda kasi nandito tayo, we're using the new technologies to also, especially ngayong times ng pandemic, di ba? We're also using the new technologies to, to help out, to inspire other people. Kasi tayo nasa bahay lang. Diba all things work for the good talaga, diba? Totoo. Diba sabi nga, ni, sabi nga nung isang parin ako sa to, I've never, um, uh, hindi pa ako nakapag-misa na ganun kadami. Na paulit-ulit nilang napapanood. Tapos nakikita ko, ay, 1,700, ano ba, 1,000 na yun ang nanood. Ganyan, sabi niya sa akin. Eh, ang kasya lang sa simbahan namin, tatong daan niya, mm-hmm. sabi niya sa akin. I could see... <laughs> Oo, so maraming maraming talagang um, I think at this time in our lives faith is really really very important it's something that we're really holding on to so with that Miss Candy thank you so much for allowing us to to let you know uh, to to be part of this uh, conversation with you and congratulations for being nominated as one of the female Catholic influencers Ayan. Anong masasabi niyo pa sa nomination? Niyo? Thank you, Jenna, for nominating. Oh, thank you talaga at, na, at na, na-join niyo kami. Thank you talaga. 